Hey, it's Sean from Tested. Today, we're gonna look at some options for UV curing your SLA resin prints. As you know, we're fans of the Form 2, and I've been using one at home for quite a while, and we've tested a few other smaller uh, SLA printers, and one of the things that you need to do a lot of times with these prints is uh, post-cure them. So uh, the SLA prints are a liquid resin, which is generally cured by a UV light or a UV laser, um, and comes out as a nice detailed uh, print, good for miniatures and other things you need a lot of really fine detail on. Um, but often, uh, especially with the engineering resins, you need to post-cure them for them to reach their full strength and full potential as far as physical properties. So initially there wasn't really much out there. You kind of had to like uh, do your own thing. And uh, Form Labs actually put a video up about how to make your own little UV oven. Um, and that's what I've been using since the beginning. And that was simply a, uh, a nail salon uh, UV cure. So this you can get on Amazon for not very much money under 30 bucks as UV lights which shine down into a uh, box, which you would place your prints into. And in my case, I just use a, a Ikea box with the top cut, uh, reflective uh, uh, craft paper inside, and a little clear riser to allow light to bounce up from the bottom of uh, the box and get to the bottom of the print. Um, and sometimes people will put a little turntable in there, like a little solar powered turntable, and that works well. And this, this was fine. It's a little, you know, clunky. And uh, the UV nail salon cure is not at the optimal wavelength of uh, UV light for curing the prints the fastest. So it might take like two to three times as long to, to cure prints as it would normally. Um, recently then, uh, Form Lab sent us the wash and cure, they're like official solutions to both washing 3D prints uh, out of the SLA bath uh, resin and then curing them. Uh, and they were awesome, we, uh, we did a review earlier, um, but uh, the UV uh, oven in particular was really, really, really expensive. I actually bought a wash station for myself, but I couldn't justify the cost of the cure. Um, but I've been printing a lot of more of engineering resins, which definitely need that additional cure time. So I, I went about coming up with a more elegant uh, and more powerful solution, uh, which brings me to my uh, Easy Bake Oven uh, that I've put together here. Um, working on the same principle as the original, but a little, uh, a little bit of an upgrade. So I was trying to think like, well, A, what would be, uh, I don't want to have to put foil or line this or whatever, so what would be an off the shelf thing that would already be shiny and ready to go? I've seen people use like uh, big metal mixing bowls, stuff like that, uh, but I want the bread box. This is like the perfect size. Uh, I just went with a small one because even at the, at the biggest print off the Form 2 would fit in here. It's fully reflective inside. Uh, it already has like the hinge door and everything. I thought that was like a perfect uh, workaround. Um, then we went with the, uh, I found a little tiny baking tray that uh, fit inside there, which raises this off and lets you get some light reflected onto the bottom of the print. Um, I paired all of this with just a DIY roll of UV LED strips. These are at the proper wavelength, so these will go uh, up to 405 nanometers, which is the same wavelength of laser in the form too, so it will cure at the about the most efficient and fastest way possible. And these are just 12 volt. They came with the power supply. Uh, they have marks on them where you can trim them. So I just cut about, I think about six different strips that I wired and mounted inside the lid. And when you close it, there's a whole bunch against the back and the top. In this case, I, I skipped doing them on the bottom because I felt that the light reflecting off the bottom that close to the model was probably sufficient. And so far that seems to have worked out to be true. But the key was you have to time all of this. Uh, so I did a little custom label using the Form Lab uh, cure times so I knew what to dial in for each different resin. And I found this awesome push button timer where you literally just push in 15 minutes, 30 minutes, one hour off on, and it will just run for that long and then turn off. It's one of those things is like, I know this must exist out there, but I, I have never seen one. So it took a little bit of like searching around Amazon, but I found it, it was super cheap. And like this like really brought the whole thing together. So you can see we, we got it nice and glowing inside. 
Uh, some of the resins really light up nicely, so that's cool. Don't stare into the UV lights directly too much. You'll sunburn your eyes. Um, but uh, I found that this uh, did this in far less time than the nail salon solution. Um, I also just think this is a little more elegant than this setup as well. I, I, I'm really pleased with how it turned out. Um, and uh, I found that it was a little bit longer than the official cure station. So like if something was meant to cure for an hour, I find that I maybe have to go about an hour and a half. Um, but the engineering resins such as the Durable have turned out fine um, and are as strong as they should be. They're sandable now. And uh, I've been pretty pleased with how my little UV oven uh, setup has, uh, has worked out. Other than buying uh, the parts, the only modification we had to do to the toaster oven was drill a little bit bigger hole here in the back uh, to allow for the UV uh, AC to go through. Um, I would recommend using a step bit for that. You can see my video on drill bits. Uh, we'll maybe post a link for that as well. But the, uh, the step bit is really good for this thin metal because it won't catch and twist like a twist bit would uh, and it makes a little bit cleaner hole. Uh, a rubber grommet would be nice. I just opted for some electrical tape to line it so that there's no sharp edges. Um, this is a pretty cheap uh, bread box, so I put a little bit of thread locker on the, um, on the screws that hold the lid in. And in fact, if I recall, these actually were riveted originally, and I drilled out the rivets and put my own screws in so that I was able to uh, take it out and put the UV strips in the back uh, easily, easier. Um, a little bit of soldering, it's pretty basic stuff. All you have to do is match up the positive and negatives on the UV strip. Um, anybody should be able to do it. Put a little heat shrink on the ends to make sure that nothing uh, is touching electrically. And I opted to get the weatherproof uh, LED lights because it has a rubberized coating over the top which just ensures that there's no possibility of accidental uh, short circuits in this giant metal box. So if you follow all of those steps, you should be able to have a nice, safe, uh, easy to use UV curing station for all of your prints, regardless of whether they are form labs or something else. But if they're resin and they need that a little bit of extra curing time, uh, I will post a shopping list uh, in the comments so that you can put together your own little uh, easy bake oven. And I uh, hope you do and enjoy and please post if you do.